Welcome back to the Bitter Betty podcast, y'all. I am Bitter Betty Tova here with my two co-hosts. Bitter Betty Deadhead. Bitter Betty Carol with an E. What's up? And it is Tom Friday. Welcome back Tom to the channel. Uh, we're <laughs> You know how we feel about Thomas, let me tell you. And this is a classic throwback. Next on our list is Tom McDonald, white boy. But first, we're going to do the video that everyone chooses not to do that gives the video so much more context. And it is white boy before the shoot. This is Tom addressing the cast of the video and explaining exactly the meaning behind the song, giving them an option to ask questions about the song itself. And I think it's super insightful and I really enjoyed watching it. So we're including it in our Tom McDonald rabbit hole. Yeah, so Tom, yeah, let's de let's go ahead and debunk some of what everybody always wants yeah. to think or say and, yeah. about Tom McDonald. And Tom, watch this, damn it. <laughs> okay, y'all ready? Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. I'm not even trying. <laughs> we'll get there. Watch my videos, damn it. <laughs> y'all ready? Yep. Yeah. So being as this is like a super like edgy piece of content i'm gonna play you guys the song right now um everybody sort of knows what to what to expect the first verse especially is pretty rocky purposefully to engage the people that are watching it second verse onward it, it smooths out quite a bit so. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely ask your questions for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, feel free to ask them. Oh, I was just gonna ask. Um, what makes you feel like you need to like justify that you're not racist? Um, I don't feel like I do, and I don't really feel like this song is like. I'm not racist, but it has been said like so many times. I'm Canadian. Okay, so the the yeah so the. The, so, the social climate in Canada, in terms of like race relations and, and that type of thing, is completely different than it is here in America. Um, and like, quite simply put, like I wasn't prepared for um, that, how intense the, the racial shit is out here. Obviously, like the roots in America run far deeper than they do in Canada. So it was like pretty eye-opening to come out here and especially like under Donald Trump's administration and everything that that perpetuates. Um, it was pretty like eye-opening for me to, um, to experience that. And because the last two songs I released were targeting the content of mumble rap, so like over-sexualization of women, alcohol consumption, Xanax use, overspending, party culture, like that type of thing. And because I targeted that content, I had a lot of people, like the page, my page went from like a thousand likes to like almost 200,000 likes. Uh, in the in the course of like three months, Pause so there's video. hundreds of thousands. He has no chin tattoo yet. That face tattoo, though. Which one? It's is that back up just a little bit. <coughs> that one. Oh, it was probably covered up with his. Uh, you know, uh, it always reminds me of in the song where. He, I got a barbar halo or in devil horns. I don't mention, you know, yeah. he had the devil horns and then the barbar halo thing on yeah. the, the skulls on each side. I bet that was a cover yeah. up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I wonder if, it, or if it, if it's blended now, I'm going to have to find a week. I'll do it later, but I'm going to have to find a picture of Tom and like, yeah. and look at that. Um, it's yeah. just so weird. Well, also analyze his face tats, <laughs> whatever the words right? are on this neck there. I wonder, like, I feel like his neck tattoo is something different now. But now I have to. Now I'm gonna have to go look again. But it looks I, like uh, it looks like the steering wheel of a ship. Yeah, that's what I was supposed to say. It looks like yeah. the steering wheel of a Which, ship. Which, because I know that the tattoo on the side of his head, I, I'm pretty sure it says Hanali, like which was the name of his father's boat because they liked the, you know, puff the magic dragon, live by the sea, frolicked in the autumn mist in the land called Hanali. I, I mean, maybe I guess, but I'm pretty sure that was the story I heard. Okay. So, I think it was Sorry, on Roseanne Bar podcast. Yeah. 
much. That was a good catch, though. Yeah, I didn't. It's been so long was, since I've watched this, too. I was so. just looking at just the, means. I was just looking at the under the chin to see if he had hog yet on there. If you don't. No, it just he didn't have hogs so much a later. A lot of Tom McDonald lives. We watched a lot of Tom McDonald videos, and we have no. the man's face memorized. <laughs> we and so it just Tom. Yeah, so I'm like, wait a damn minute, no. hold the damn phone, hold on a second. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, no, but I love I love that he's giving people the chance to ask questions about the music, yes. you know. So it like it lets them kind of understand where he's coming from. And I love that it gives the insight of that he was trying to target the mumble rap, you know, the content of it. And it got the backlash and, and why he, you know, feels the need to do this. And because he isn't from originally from America and it is different in Canada versus America. So, but it's interesting to see like how he's changed from here to now. Yeah, for sure. All right. Thousands of comments on these videos and a small portion of them, but enough for me to like, my phone blows up all day, and I look down at what people are saying on these videos, mm -hmm. and a quarter of these hundreds of thousand comments are people saying like, yo, this guy's a fucking racist, he's targeting black rappers, he's a culture vulture, etc., etc." which just comes with the territory, but it's like, we've never targeted black rappers. We didn't target any rappers of a particular color, we targeted rappers of a particular content. And there's white rappers, and there's Asian rappers, and there's all types of rappers that talk about that exact same shit. So this song was fueled by pretty much the reaction to my last two videos. Um, and it has less to do with um, me feeling like I need to stand up and say, hey, I'm not racist, and more to do with me feeling like I need to respond to these people that have been saying wild shit on a public forum that is my page for the last three months. Gotcha. So, so it's more of like a culture shock from you moving in absolutely. and these people assuming that you're racist. Absolutely. And I mean, my, my neighbor, some of the stuff he listens to is like, it's straight up, it's anti-white. And it blares from his house all the time. And he talks to me, he's like, yo, you got a problem with this shit? And I'm like, no, nah, bro, it's music. Like, it's all good. So anyways, I had him come over to the house. Um, and I played him this song before I even decided to go through with the video or whatever. And is is like very 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 like pro-black like very pro-black and he, he straight up told me he said look tom like i understand that like you're a rapper and like yeah you're one of the good ones and you want to be down with like hip-hop culture and da 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 um he's like i'm gonna tell you straight up just because i live in america and i grew up here and as my experiences as a black man in america if i didn't know you and i saw you walking down the street and i'm hanging out with my black friends I'm assuming you're racist before I even fucking talk to you because yeah. his analogy was if there's a barrel full of snakes and half of them are poisonous, I don't have the fucking time to stick my hand in and figure out which ones are poisonous and which ones aren't because at the end of the day they all fucking bite. That's what he said to me. Um, and, and it's that, that it's, and he's my friend, mm -hmm. but it's that mindset that a lot of people, and I'm not saying that he's wrong, but it's not something that I relate with being from Canada. Um, and it's that mindset that a lot of people came to me on Facebook with in response to the mumble rap videos. And at the end of the day, like that's what I was responding to with this record. You can only read these things on Facebook for so long until it does start touching you on some emotional level. And it does like start to anger you and stuff. So, so, so some of this is fueled from anger. I did my best to have it come from an angry place at times, but not a hateful place. Mm -hmm. Um, but some of it was done intentionally so that people stop and say, well, that's bullshit. He shouldn't have fucking said that because the reason this is taking place in a classroom setting is because this is a learning environment and an environment that incites discussion. So like, I want some of those people to say, hey, this is bullshit. You shouldn't have said that. I need those people. It, that's what's going to spark the conversation. So I definitely understand. Um, Reason being, I just moved from Belize not too long ago, oh. and race is not really like something we focus on. Like we know there's Chinese people, we know there's different types of people, but we don't really focus on black or white. Yeah. So a couple months moving out of here when I was going to community college, and there was something happening. But I can't remember what happened. But one of my friends at the time on the track he was like, "Oh, that happened because you're black." Ooh. And I looked at him, I was like, "What, what does that mean?" Like, I didn't understand what the joke, the context of the joke, mm -hmm. so like I had to ask him. He explained it, and that's how I learned about race. So I definitely relate to what you said. Yeah. I mean, people aren't that... It's not such of a non-issue in Canada where it's at a point where people wouldn't understand something like that. Like, it definitely does exist in Canada, but not to... 
the degree of intensity that exists out here. Right. So, um, yeah. so yeah, that's where that's where I'm at. So I just wanted to. Uh, the reason I told everybody about it on the phone is just um, I didn't think it was fair to bring everybody here and then to play the song and expect everybody to just deal with it, um, which is why I sort of gave everybody the disclaimer on the phone, and that's why I wanted to play you guys the song right now. So as long as everybody's cool, um, we'll get on with it. That's, it's, okay. it's so cool that he did that. Yeah. And you know what else, though? I was appreciating by listening to him talk. I love hearing him talk. And, uh, but I, I look at the difference of the way Tom talks now versus mm -hmm. back then. Like, how much he's learned how to address, speak in, the, in like, the public setting. Like, mm -hmm. I admire, like, his growth and just that aspect of things right like i've watched older interviews like where you know um he doesn't look at the camera much or he's looking down or he's fit, like you know um and, and he he's developed such a way or a man and a mannerism that mm -hmm. um he definitely keeps control of like kind of like what's happening and what's going on um then i just appreciate like almost like his interviewing skills right but here he was just addressing like you know a public room but just yeah. his speaking abilities alone like um, yeah. have grown immensely in six years so that's crazy well and i can't even imagine having th that conversation and then like filming the actual video you know what i mean like i wonder what it was like in that room after that and with the filming and i wonder if anybody in there was like moved by it or maybe changed kind of the way they thought about something because of it you know yeah. it'd be cool to see like an after the video that's what i was thinking thing. like it would be cool to see yeah. like, how they felt afterwards you know yeah yeah, and I know it, it didn't seem like it, it covered here, but I know that Tom has touched on it in interviews um, that he did ask everybody if they were okay with staying afterwards, and mm -hmm. not one person left. Well, that's so, good. That's um, good. Yeah. yeah, everybody was cool with staying. So um, I yeah. do know that much. He yeah. did mention that in a, it's a live or an interview or something, but I did I do recall Tom saying that. Yeah, I love it so much. Like, it's yeah. so cool. We ready? All right, guys. So yeah. here we are with Tom McDonald, Wipe Away. Let's go. I cannot feel guilty for that I didn't do, but I can understand the reasons why you think that I should. Yeah, I'm white, but I never put your neck in no noose. And I never burnt a cross or hid my face with a hood. You can't just label me racist because I'm related to people who did some terrible way back before I was alive. My parents brought me up to treat everyone as an equal. I refuse to feel ashamed because of my pretty blue eyes. And not white supremacist. Anyone who labels me as that because of my family genetics. The hatred for Caucasians is so pathetic. Go be proud that you're black, but don't hate me for some credit. I'm not the white devil, neo-Nazi cop trying to pull the trigger. You can call me what you want, but I'd still never say... The white race as a whole ain't the enemy There's racist white people, but we're far from that collectively White boy, don't say that White boy, oh you so bad White boy, you wish you were black White boy, be a white boy on some cognac sitting next to me i don't assume Talk that every quick. black's favorite before we get too far into the to the next verse so the chorus right um is where where i wanted to touch base on at the beginning um when mm -hmm. he says um white boy you wish you were black i always wondered and i never had a chance to actually ask tom like was that something that was repeatedly said to him especially uh, living where where they were living I'm you gonna, know i'm gonna go on a whim here and say yes because i have yeah, seen that's, people yeah. say things similar to that so, to, to i can him, imagine yeah. especially because after jay rappers dreads, came out the dreads you know that's something that um, black culture has i guess adapted to is the word I yeah know. well you know, well, it's like, I mean, Vikings is, wore braids as well. So, yeah. I mean, it's like braids, yeah. bra well, Native they, Americans. I've been told that it's definitely culture, wore braids. It's, you know, the, what's the term, you know, like. Cultural appropriation. Yeah. So, I. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but I don't even buy into that. Not in America, really, because, you know, it's like every, everybody pulls from everybody's culture in America, right? Like, that's yeah. what makes us so great. We celebrate we're a melting Day. 
Yeah, I uh, you know, we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Any reason for an American to drink is a good reason. <laughs> uh, you know, is it, we'll take any holiday. We don't even I care. Have some... but... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, well, I was just going to say, I mean, people adopt different hair colors, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and everything. Culture is meant to be shared and enjoyed and celebrated, not right. coveted because you don't like the other team or whatever it is. Right. You know what I mean? To me, yeah. that's stupid. Like, And to, to just to touch on that, though, like there's I have some friends, some uh, black friends that I'm pretty close to, and uh, they wear these really cool head hair things they put their hair in and everything and i always thought they were really cool and i was i was thinking about getting one and i was like is that like you know black culture am i you know as a white girl am i if you don't quit except i'm reporting i'm serious uh i, I said if I was, I was asking them if it was would be inappropriate for me as a white girl to wear it because i don't want to offend anybody on purpose you know mm -hmm. and i thought it was out of respect i would ask my my uh three close black friends you know and uh they were actually they said honestly i i mean i wouldn't care that you did but there's people that would and yeah I don't know, well I it's guess... like that'd be like us being mad that they've dyed their hair blonde yeah you know because well, like lots know... of blonde hair exists in different cultures as well like you can't there isn't really, I don't believe there isn't anything anybody shouldn't adapt to, as long as you're doing it respectfully and not with malice. Mm -hmm. Correct. And that's what I was getting ready to do because there's, to me, there's a difference. Like, there's a cultural, you want to talk about cultural appropriation versus cultural appreciation, right? Yeah. And, um, and the, you know, and there are lots of things like I have had, like, um, next when I lived, um, another city, anyways, we had neighbors that moved in and they were, um, Dominican. And when they moved in, you know, it, they were all about sharing their culture. Right. And, um, and music and food and different things. So, um, it's very bizarre to me, you know, um, to claim cultural appropriation. Um, when I, I guess to me, the rules can never be reversed, right? It's only ever seen one-sided. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I think that that's sometimes rather unfair because when we look into who, who gets to say who can braid their hair and who can't braid their hair, it's a damn braid. Like, I don't understand that. Like, that's really weird to me, right? Mm -hmm. So I, I will always and forever not look at something as somebody saying cultural appropriation. Unless you are like distinctively doing something to be disrespectful, mm -hmm. you know, um, and like Toba said, you know, for malice, like that's just, you know, to, that's crazy to me, right? If there's no malicious intent behind something, I kind of want to tell people, you know, get off your high horse, right? right. Like, okay. uh, uh, you know, and, and if you had a good argument for me, I'm willing to listen to your good argument. I'm not so close minded that I'm right. You're wrong, right. but you need to come to me to the table with valid points and don't be pissed when I give you my counter valid points. Right. So, right. you know, and, and that's where I think that there's that, that we also lose inequality, um, which is also why a lot of all three of us, appreciate Tom McDonald so much. So yeah. I'm sorry. It's only one minute and 17 seconds in and I'm, we've been carrying on. So I'm, I, I could go all night. Yeah. So I'm going to shut up now and let Tom talk. No, I mean, I could too, but it's like, it's good points, but that's what this music was created to do. Right. It was created to Start create conversation. conversation. So people have the conversation, right? So we can try and understand where other people are coming from because I, you know, I'm, I come from an Italian background. I'm not a hundred percent Italian, but that, like, but I, enjoy the fact that america celebrates italian culture you know i like why would i be mad that people want to eat pasta that's fucking stupid pasta is amazing everybody should eat pasta <laughs> yeah you know Mex what i mean like mexican food i love me some mexican food yeah i'm part native american i think native american shit is cool too like yeah. why can't we celebrate it why can't we enjoy the fact that there's so many amazing cultures in the world and that people enjoy them enough to want to represent them on themselves. Mm -hmm. I think it's a beautiful thing. Should be considered a beautiful thing. All right. All right, Tom. Favorite drink is Hennessy. I don't dislike Tanisha because her first name isn't Stephanie. Not only is that wrong, it's a 
waste of energy, ivory or ebony, 45 or 17, we all bleed the same, Martin Luther King or Kennedy. They're angry, I'm reciting the facts, he's white and he raps, he stole the culture right from the facts, okay, he's fire, but we lit the flame, he's siphoning gas, so f*** this corny little honky man, the whitey is whack, you letting history perpetuate the hate you within, and then you paint me with the brush you painted slave owners with, yeah. White boy, don't say that, white boy, oh you so bad, white boy, you wish you were black, white boy, be a white boy. A sister, an auntie, an uncle, and a grandma that I picture when you're openly hating. And God willing, one day I'll have a kid of my own. I refuse to let you blindly hate my wife and my baby, so go ahead and hate the racist. I pray for their extinction. If you want to hate the white people, just make the distinction between the ones who want the best for everyone regardless and the ones who build the system just to smother you with hardship. Stop before you say it. I know what you've been thinking. How's a straight white male in 2018? You're making me the villain by demonizing my race For things I didn't do and decisions I didn't make No one that I call a friend has ever owned a slave And neither did our dads or our dad's dads For sakes acknowledging atrocities were wrongly committed Is all that I can offer when I'm wrongly convicted I would never hate a man for what God gave him in pigments And I would never plot against him just because he is different I would never judge a human for the cards he was given Or call him lesser than myself cause of the race that he's mixed with White people that you hate aren't your neighbors or lawyers They're the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Bushes and Royals They're the people who monopolized the water and oil And injected your communities with drugs that they spoiled Got no patience for Nazis, I think they're better off dead The fighting hatred with hatred making the hate more intense I don't want nothing to do with either side of the fence so don't blindly attack me for wearing braids on my head hate the people who believe you put yourselves in the ghetto hate the ones who teach their children you ain't because they said so hate the ones who think you're all the same and judge you profusely because the way that you're portrayed on our news and in movies being white and being racist aren't the same man i promise no it's hard to tell the difference if i'm just being honest i deserve the chance to show you i'm not part of so Y'all remember in the first video, the guy that was asking the questions that says he wasn't from here initially and he didn't yeah. understand racism until he got here, or whatever. Mm -hmm. If you rewind, he's right there in the background. If you yes. rewind it like 10, 15 seconds, like the look in his eyes is just like he feels it. Like he, I think he, he genuinely is like emotionally moved by what Tom is saying, is I the feeling so I get from him when I look at him. Like, like he's impressed that Tom is speaking like this and it feels like he respects him. I don't know. And that that's what it looks like. He could be like, bitch, I'm going to kick your ass. Uh, but or he's just a really good damn actor. He might like, just be a really good actor. But I don't know. It's just it, every since the very first time I saw this, all I saw in his face was like, like he got it. Yeah. He understood. He he had genuine empathy for him. Yeah. It was just like he was it, like. He just seemed emotional in a good way. Yeah. I don't know. I just wanted to point that out. No, I it's see that every time. Tell the difference if I'm just being honest. I deserve the chance to show you I'm not part of the problem. And you owe it to yourselves. We got so much in common. White boy, don't say that. White boy, oh, you so bad. White boy, you wish you were black. White boy, okay, real quick. That guy has also been in several, several yeah. videos. Yeah, he was in cancer. Cancer. I can't think of what other one? Um, but no, real too, quick yeah. though, I don't understand the point of him crying. No, I don't either. Unless well, they from look what I pointing out snowflakes, I mean. Well, you know. I heard, I heard there was an interview where he said that was a true emotion, like he felt like he was crying because of the song. But I don't know how accurate that interview was because it was done by like a mainstream thing, kind of like the the uh that one interview that the magazine did on tom that was not accurate yeah but yeah, so everything. i don't know how that was but yeah but he but okay. like the way they made the interview sound versus the fact that he's been in several videos don't line up yeah i'll say that but i think he, he um if i was black yeah he wasn't was if, he? I, was if black. I were black yes. yeah if i were black he was in yeah okay yeah That's so okay. that was another one and then cancer yeah so. White boy, don't say that. White 
white boy, oh you so bad White boy, you wish you were black White boy, dear white boy Man. Yes, I totally think that that was, I just saw where you were talking about the name, um, what was it? Hanalee. Hanalee. Hana 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 and then you saw um, the anchor. And then mm -hmm. on the other side is the wheel. Sorry, yeah. I just happened to notice it. <laughs> yeah. So. so. Now, right, now I need well. to go examine the uh, the skull, barbar, halo, devil horn. I'm about like, to do the same thing. Don't worry. I want to <laughs> see. I, I want to know <laughs> if it was a. I yeah. Now I have to know if it was a cover up or if it's still technically there, blended in. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. If it was kind of blended in, so. Um, but I feel like you fucking guys, MacGyver. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes and shit. We're like, wait a damn minute. That's not right. Thomas, give me your face. I need to examine this right now. Come here. Let me see this. Oops, rather, than, <laughs> rather than the fact Nova, that we probably could just Nova, simply hold ask his one. legs. <laughs> hold his legs, Nova. Honestly, we probably could just simply ask him. He would tell us. <laughs> I could. <laughs> we like doing things the hard way, though. Yeah. <laughs> To me, that Very that's good. a viral video waiting to happen. <laughs> the videos yeah. are coming for you, Tom. <laughs> a. <laughs> Wait. So that was uh, Tom McDonald, white boy. Um, and make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell because anytime Tom drops something new, we will be here for your reactions. Yeah, we will. Pretty but uh, this too. is a yeah this is another tom mcdonald review um and uh if you guys have any other specific questions maybe about tom mcdonald maybe you want us to debunk something figure something out for you i don't know maybe we have your answer maybe your we girls. don't know the maybe you girls. have some fun facts about tom that we don't know yeah. so but until Doubtful. next time guys <laughs> <laughs>